January to March, Madagascar is ravaged by a series of tropical storms. The flooded rivers sweep up everything along their path. No passenger was injured in the fall. Now everyone is trying to save the truck before the river floods over again. Dozens of vehicles are stuck on either side of the road. There is another possible route, but the detour is more than 1,500 kilometers long. As always, in times of hardship, business must continue. For a small fee, Drivers allow passengers to transfer their goods in order to continue their journey. The truck was removed two days later, but the road stayed blocked for nearly three weeks. Its nickname comes from the color of its earth, the Red Island. Throughout cyclone season, the ground is very unstable. Landslides, mud and flooding isolate entire regions. Even so, a few foolhardy drivers continue to transport supplies to the most remote villages on the island. Madagascar is among the last countries in the world that still permits the use of hand-towed rickshaws. These human horses are in competition with a legacy from the French occupation, the 4L. The Malagasis love taking on new challenges, such as these faced in the bullring. The island of Madagascar is located in the Indian Ocean, southeast of Africa. In its center lies a succession of small mountains and highlands, where the 40,000 inhabitants of the town of Ambositra have made their home. In this district, the rooster refuses to sing at dawn. Its song has been replaced by the clattering of scrap metal. The men cut, reshape and attempt to revive even the most wasted away car bodies and engines. This particular wreck seems fit for the scrap heap. However, in a few hours, it will take on one of the most chaotic routes in the region. Sido paid 7,000 euros for his truck from the moment he first laid eyes on it, he knew there was a lot more to it than its ugly frame. 
Ah, the motor a mandé sarafani extérieur tiens, ça ne vous problème. Et vous tenez votre nez, vous 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 mettez dans le unique kilométrage de vingt-ci, Hard to believe. The following morning, the merchandise arrives from the market. Sido has to deliver a ton of salt to one of the most isolated regions on the island. Living without electricity, the inhabitants have to use salt to preserve their meat. Fifty-eight kilometers of track spread over fourteen hours, an average of five kilometers per hour. The journey gets off to a bad start. At the edge of the village, I don't want to come sang up and I look at it. Huh? The flange is a piece of metal that maintains the suspension blades. There's no time to solder the broken part. These open air straps will have to do the job. <laughs> But just as they're about to set off again, With the starter at the end of its tether, patched up suspensions, doors held together by rope, tires weakening meter after meter, the list is only getting longer. The engine brake is not good enough. Sido's two assistants try to stop the truck with large rocks, but it's not very effective. As the journey goes on, the difficulties continue and they only get more and more intense. Thank you. 
manual transportation is still the best means of delivering merchandise. It requires a lot of patience, a level head, especially on market days, and a strong body. However, some goods are too hard to carry. <laughs> In the town of Ivato, everyone knows Toto and his indestructible 4L. As long as there is space in his vehicle, Toto accepts all kinds of passengers. Along with the three pigs, seven other people pile into the vehicle. <laughs> The journey does not seem to have affected the animal. A happy pig makes for a happy customer. Toto's 4L is always full. One trip costs 30 cents and is two times cheaper than the bus. To make a profit at that price, Toto needs at least 12 passengers. <laughs> Between the goods and the passengers, Toto's car often weighs over a ton. This is twice the authorised amount for a 4L. With such a load, Toto never risks using the busier trails. He only ever goes through towns where the roads are made of tarmac. The journeys never exceed 30 minutes. Even that is already enough to cause a few lasting aches. <laughs> Talk to me, Mary. Mary, come on, don't touch. 
Ah, mba fa feto mba feto. Salama. Ah, ni ka sa telefono ni. Kumpia kare? Ie, ti seksa. Mantu seksa. Tem ti seksa, hanga ro mena ka. Sa ai te mo te tre me ko fa. The island of Madagascar is ranked third in the list of the poorest countries in the world. Its government still authorizes a profession that has been banned all over the planet, rickshaw pullers. They are the last human horses. Twenty-three-year-old Olivier already has two years of rickshaw pulling under his belt. Mm. The warehouse is located one kilometer away. It's not very far, but the hills on which the town of Ambositra is built make the journey difficult. Initially, Olivier wore shoes while working, but they wore out too quickly for his small salary. Usually, when going up a hill, the clients help out by putting their feet on the ground. This woman does not seem to sympathize with the rickshaw driver's fatigue. Uh, 
na kurang tila sa mabis sa budi imsar mabis sa tabili le fitin le pusi re fa ulan na kuro sila tila ko imsar ka sila tila ko imsar ka For the same price, she even asks for an extra favour. Rickshaw drivers like Olivier do not own their carts. They rent them for 45 cents a day. They need to do at least three journeys to make a profit. The <laughs> Olivier rents a room in this house with his wife and his three-year-old son. <coughs> the rain has left marks on his tired body. ตัวมันเสียสักการะละละเลงติจิริคุเลนะติลีนะบนิคันจินตัมตุงจินติเจียมกติเจียมคริสตันจับปักจับปักมุจันตันนะชินิคันนะโนวันปะเตนะเลน
The team has been travelling for five hours, but they've only covered half of the 58-kilometre distance. The odour of fuel is intensifying, overpowering the smells of the forest. The break is worse than expected. The assistants create a makeshift tank with this plastic bottle. Bran is an element that coats grains of rice. Drivers use it as a means to avoid skidding. Large ruts dislocate and end up pushing the steel to its breaking point. The endurance of his battered vehicle has its limits. An alarming clatter is heard. The latest breakdown ensues on the 40th kilometre after 10 hours of driving.
Okey, Z empat ratus gue. Ah, empat ratus rata apa ke apa nanti so ke fusi itu? Si kau mai ke? Si kau nanti untuk kau pernah ngeran lui? Aw. Tante bet bet. Tante bet bet. Tante bet bet. Hai, paling kotor jo. Sengat fatu wa. Cawa. Tres nato. Dena, engkau misi lu misi apa lagi? Hei. Kalau macam jinkeri wah, sebab tu orang barshe zangfan zeri tu ni kui yua di zaman terbaik di jinkeri satu tu dia pun tu mui. Hari waktu nak ruang ni di si la permisi ni. Ida, ini zaman dia fana. Ah, terlalu zeri sebab tu stick zeri. The fatigue dampens their spirits. Merah 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 kamu ni pele ya. Tangan aku tu botol tu. Sido pays his assistants the minimum wage. They get 40 euros a month. It may be hard to believe, but 60 years ago, this road was a long stretch of smooth and shiny tarmac. It was under French protectorate. Since then, it's not been properly maintained. The Malagasy government does not have the means to preserve the secondary roads. Some ruts in the passage have gradually become gaps nearly three meters long. As the 13th hour of the journey rolls by, Sido should be close to his destination. In reality, he's only halfway through. He still has 30 kilometers left to travel. The driver, Sido, lives in this town with no running water or electricity. He and his wife run a grocery shop. Most of the inhabitants have never left their town. Some dream of going to the capital, but for others the idea is very overwhelming. 
Reto a tsy misy aty tony fa aty be ora rabe de tsy mavoka tra ny tony. De ora lo zavatra voka tra ty vatra ihany koa. De vatra ina ma ty lamba, confection. Misy ora zavatra tsy hain'ny olona mampiasa de anay sy vambany ahita vila ro mitondra azy maka aty a. De mampianatra reto ny atao ohatra zao e. Ny olona ty tsy mahafantatra spaghetti hoe atao ina ty na ina ty. Na ni naran ti ang chain manun na dinor mapana de ozo urum ni chat ti de masa ka to ozo on fanawaz ozo ozo on fangar ni de mapiasa niul. Karanti ti karanti de. Sido also manages more than three thousand liters of rum, the most lucrative trade in the region. Piti malak vat ke vula, ah malak de fa vat ke vula ni to. After two hours of rest, Sido gets behind the wheel again. The end of his journey will be complicated, so he has no time to take part in the celebrations in the neighboring village, marking the end of the rainy season. Away from the crowd, 19-year-old Kambana is preparing for battle. Kambana will not be the only one in the arena. <laughs> Tena <laughs> In reality, it is better to stay focused, especially because their opponent is a zebu. Zebu means bump and effectively refers to the lump of fat stored on the animal's neck. This allows it to survive in hostile conditions where there is no grass. The zebu can be quite a nervous creature. The aim of the game is to hold on to the Zebu's hump for as long as possible. I 
de zaak van vorige week te maken hebben, ze vinden. Maar hij is goed. Hij is goed. The black zebu is called Comet. He is the strongest and most notorious of these beasts. Taking on Comet is a sure way to show off your bravery to the entire town. This fighter held on for 11 seconds, a new record. Comet quickly gets his revenge. In these fights, there are never any fatalities, but there are always several injuries. Now it is Kambana's turn to enter into the ring. He hopes that the band he wrapped around his waist this morning will protect him from the zebu's horns. Kambana triumphs over the zebu in 20 seconds. Not all struggles take place in an arena. Sido is a road warrior. He battles against mud, ruts and breakages. After the leak in his fuel tank, it's the radiator's turn to start leaking. Now the truck must stop every 15 minutes. Uh, They have covered 48 kilometers in 17 hours and they still have 10 kilometers to go. Sido does not want to drive through the night, so he tries to recover a few minutes by taking risks. Now the assistants run behind the truck with the tank on their backs.
Dia yang akan kita tukil lah. Kau ni situri tu dan tenar mana tukil lah. Tuk ni masih lulus dan rezeki tiada ni. Nampak ni yang mengurat di tengah masih lengkap. Despite the willingness of his assistants, Sido does not manage to escape nightfall and his problems persist. They're left with warm brakes, a broken starter, a break in the rear suspension, leaks in the fuel tank and radiator, as well as broken bolts in the front wheel. And now one of the back wheels is causing them problems too. Sido's helpers perform another miracle. 20 minutes later, the truck is ready to continue its journey. Andrea can be a sala. Satria Turmas Manganske. Please sell a tompila, my prev, Ras and Lalam. You know me, Laria Luayan, Kiteto Pila, Maneska Kali. They've been going for 20 hours and the struggle is not over yet. supply of rice bran quickly runs out. The assistants then resort to using sacks to try to slow the truck, but their efforts are in vain. In the early hours of the morning, the town comes into view. The team has not slept a wink. They didn't think they would make it, their speed had reduced to a crazy two kilometers per hour. Kilometer, 
Nevertheless, the merchandise's journey is not over yet. Now it must take on the smaller trails, heading towards the most remote towns on the island.